Okay, so mistake number one is if I left some colors behind. So when I fill it in, it's great, but when it's empty, there's two that are left over. I don't want that. I want it to be empty when I give it to someone to work on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find the code that had this color in it and just add it to the range. Obviously, when I click on that pixel, nothing pops up because it's not coded. But can I find this color over here? So I'm looking for dark brown or one of the browns. It doesn't matter that much. Actually, it looks more like that one. So again, doesn't matter much, but it looks like it's this color here. So I was able to find the code by clicking on this box and I'm just going to open the code and add this color in. So hit range, make sure you click control or command to hold it down. And I'm just going to add that one in. And now hit done and then make sure you follow the steps. So hit reset. And now it's gone. And when I put in the code, it's part of that code now. Let's do it with this one here. This is the mint green. So then I just need to find a mint green. There it is. Open it up and just add this guy to the code. And that's how you can add in strays or things that you left out. Just do you see how now it's filled in? There are a couple pieces that got left out. There are two pieces missing. So I'm going to go in and add those to the code. So this piece here, I want it to be brown. So I'm just going to click on what has the code, not what doesn't have the code. This doesn't have anything going for it. I'm not going to code it. I'm going to take my existing code and just add it. So now I'll click on this and I'm just going to add it in. And sometimes it wants to replace other codes as you do that, at other pixels. And so we just got to stay patient. Sometimes you have to go in a couple times. Okay, now the brown is taken care of. And I'm going to come up here and do the same with that mint green. So find a mint green that already exists and just take it, click on the range, and just add that color back in. Check, see nothing else got deleted. Okay, done, reset. Okay, so that's another troubleshoot. Here's another common pixel art mistake. What if you coded something the correct color, watch this eye here, but then you accidentally coded it a second time and changed its color. There it goes, it turned red, did you see that? And when I get all the way to the end, my gingerbread person is still beautiful, but it has a red eye instead of a brown eye. I'm going to show you how to fix that. Just for interest, let's open up the conditional formatting window and click on this, but this uh, button here. As you can see, it's been coded twice. It's been coded red and brown. Do not delete the code. If you delete the code, it will delete all of the red and all of the brown. This code impacts other pixels, so you're not going to delete it, but you are going to change the code. I am going to just change the red and take this pixel out of it. So I can open up the red code and delete this pixel out of the range. To do that, you need to know what this pixel is called. It helps to click on it first and go look up at the column. See how it's a little darker since I clicked on it? That's helpful. This pixel is called S, come all the way over here, what row is it in? 10, it's highlighted for me or shaded. So this one's called S10. So I need to open the red code and take S10 out of the equation. You can open the red code in multiple ways. I'm clicking on something red and there it is right there. Just click on it and open it. Or I can come click on this Broncos box and there it is again. It's the same code. You know, it's the same one, but click on it to open it. And now do you see your range here? I'm going to open up my range 
and I can see everything that it's making red. It's making B16 to B19 red. That's the Broncos box. There's two of those in there. I don't know why. Um, it's making U20 red. That's the button in the middle of the gingerbread person. And it also made S10 red, which is his eye, and it is not supposed to be red. So I am going to delete that part. And then hit OK. There it is. And now it's brown again. So now when I click on this code, it no longer has S whatever it was, um, included, S10. And when I go back up to this code, it, that one always had the I. It just got covered by this. But most importantly, let me hit done over here. I can click on the I and see that it still is coded to be brown, but it no longer has red. So if you code something the wrong color, you can, don't delete the code, but you can open the code and remove it from the range. Here is a common troubleshooting problem that I see come up. What happens if you coded everything correctly, but you got one of your questions wrong? Let's say that I made this and I said that six times four is 18 and I coded it to be 18. Then I realized that six times four is not 18, it's 24. Well, this is really easy to fix. Click on the box and change it to the answer it should actually be. The pixels will disappear because it was coded for 18. Now click on the box again and open up the coding window. Come up to format and click on conditional formatting. Keep the code, open it up by clicking on it. Come down here to the formula you had written 18 and change it to the answer that you want. So all you have to do is open this up and change the answer. I'm going to show you one more. And the last one is what do you do if you accidentally left the code out of one of the answer boxes so the answer box isn't changing colors? Say it looks like this. And if you look over in the conditional formatting, there's no code there. That doesn't mean the code disappeared. It just means that this box here, the one with the 15 in it, isn't included in the code. So as I shuffle through here, all the rest of them, the codes pop up. But you can see that the tree is still complete. So the code does exist. You just forgot to code this box or it got deselected somehow. Things happen all the time. So what I need to do is I need to figure out how to find that code by clicking on the actual tree and finding the the pixels that have the code. But I'm not just going to click around. I'm going to delete all the other answers except for the 15 because then the coded 15s will pop up. I'm deleting everything else. Aha, so this box B20 is for all of these pixels. Click on this and there's the code. And then all you have to do is go back and add that other box to the range. So make sure you hold down control and just add this box back in. And now that box is part of the code again. So now that 15 box is included in the code. The code never disappeared. It's just if this box doesn't get coded, it can be kind of hard to find.